Love is clean and love is pure And love is the thing that no doctor can cure And love is the thing we need for sure And if you no got it, we got the music calling you Reach out and touch your music and sound No matter you young go home, you got to the good time roll bought a studio for a girl he's not met yet in person. I don't know, maybe Kenya no man nice. <laughs> so. <laughs> Kenya is where I'm at right now. Kenya is where I want to retire and live in my life. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. man. Thank you so much. Right on. Greetings, girl people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you a very exciting video. So I'm going to be hanging out with some Jamaicans who live in Kenya, seeing the businesses they do, and, you know, just sharing everything in between, the highs, the lows, and I'm super, super excited about it. It's really nice to get... Uh, to understand how they find life here. I mean, I've been to Jamaica, so it's really nice. It kind of makes more sense for me when I have that conversation, having visited Jamaica before. Hello. Welcome, guys. Some peace, <laughs> some love, and some sunlight. Um, of this course. is JamTowardsAfrica.com <laughs> family. And as you guys know, I'm a Jamaican in Kenya. And, um, you know, as you guys know, I, I came from Ghana to Kenya, and I found Kenya as my home. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm just trying to like actually just solve people's problem, and that's what business and entrepreneurship is all about. Uh -huh. So when I came, I came in a situation, I overcome my situation, and I realized it's a problem for diaspora people when they come back. Um, you know, they want something that is very uh, luxurious and nice. You know, you want to feel like you feel better. Uh -huh. where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, and something comfortable without really getting scammed, mm -hmm. you know. So we're going to be checking some of the properties that he's selling here in Kenya. And this is one of them. So let's get right in. Welcome to the Loftel, guys. Um, this is a, an, a nice luxury apartment that I find that you guys would love. Um, so it, it's my pleasure selling this to you, family, because I see the amenities. I see how top notch it is. And I just want to, yes, as you can see, as you guys see, it's, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, with most apartment family, it's like you're living in an apartment, but this one, they actually set that apartment, make you feel like you actually feel at home. So as you can see, they have their, the kids' era family for the kids. Okay. So if you have kids, mm -hmm. Oh, wow, so they have some kids play area. It looks so attractive, makes me feel, even as an adult <laughs> feel it. I think the combination of blue and white makes it, you know, it makes it look like, See, yeah, water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. So this is lovely. Yeah, family. So let's move to the developer family. As you know, guys, when a deal with just come and just come about, we deal with people experiencing at the business family. So this is Oasis developer. Developer. These are the projects that they do um, and finish and done with and sell off. Um, you know what I mean? So let, this. Let me see. I know this one. You know this one. Yeah. Oh wow. I know one on the <laughs> side. Yeah. No Riverside one, the ones of Riverside, I know them. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So they do have some projects that they've completed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I see we have an outlay of some of the units they have here. Yes, so as you can see, guys, a two bedroom here. You can, you can see the size type. Uh -huh. And, you know, uh, one bedroom. And then you have the bed seater. I think we only have like one bed seater left family, so. Um, oh, so most of them have been sold. Yeah, man, I've been sold. I, I sold the last two. Uh -huh. So family, so as you guys know, one bed seater, reach out to me if you're interested. I want that one. Now let's move to the gym family. Because as you guys see, yes, let's go in. The glass was so clear. I wonder if it, if it was closed. <laughs> yeah, family, so as I was saying, guys, this, this gym thing is like, as you can see, guys, they still have on plastic to so show, show that these things are shipping from China family. And um, yeah. So you can keep feet. And as you can see, they're actually high tech. They're not some little cheap things. Um, you know what I mean? That makes it, make it nice. Everything is like, they have everything here that is actually a need to stay fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. 
Yeah, family. So you guys see what is happening. Right now, you guys see what is happening. So that's the gym, guys. That's the gym. Yeah, so, yeah. This is great for workouts. Yes, and like, you know I mean? I said, this era family is actually in the UN here. So if you think about buying this as an uh, investment, it's a very great idea because this is actually UN certified. So it has UN standard. So UN can actually, people can actually live here and oh. stuff like that. And if you go down in the parking lot, you see that a red plate, that's a UN, a UN um, you know, workers family. Yeah. Diplomat, so right. diplomat, yeah, so diplomat. So this is diplomat certified. <laughs> yeah, family, so next family we come and the ground floor, you have a nice eerie place for you there. And then you have a table tennis. I don't know, I like to play table tennis. You wanna play? Let's play, let's play. We have a pool, and you know, I like to play pool. This, this is how you play pool family. Pool. Oh, you're gonna play, let's play. Yeah, so we're gonna play some pool family. As you can see, you know what I mean? When they come here, they can never feel bored. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. So the pool, as you can see guys, the pool is so clean. It's like spring water that's come from you know, the earth family. This is not no water that you're treated, as you can see. Side is that baby pool, mm -hmm. and uh, that side is deeper. Uh, you have a nice chairs and stuff in your bathroom yeah, to wash I off. I like it because uh, a lot of places where they have a pool on the ground floor, uh -huh. it's like everybody in the apartment can be watching, but this one is kind of private. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah nice, so nice, like nice, it. nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, so the guy here, I play some pool family. So let's play, let's play, let's play, guys. Let's play. Two. Two. <laughs> two, two. So, um, so you, you can choose now which one you want to play. You want to do stripe or you want to do um, solid. Yeah, African tigers, let me show you what the two bedroom medium look like. And there's three types, um, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna show you guys the media one because this is the showroom family. So, yeah, so let me show you what I'm going in at this. As you can see, guys, yes, family, so it come built into the suction. As you can see, you get the stove, it's four burner, as you can see, family. And as you can see, the wall robe is top notch, luxury style, hotel style, as you can see, family. And this is the your entire living room space. As you can see, it comes with a, a place for you to put your entertainment center and stuff like that. And you know, with this one, you have like two balconies. With the superior, you have like three balcony families. So I don't know if we're going to have enough time to show you the superior. But it's like the medium, large, and then there's a small. So, you know, this is a balcony on one side. That's for your living room. So when you come out, you have sit outside. And then um, you have your washing area right here, family. As you can see, this is your washing area. Everything is intact. The piping and everything is there. And um, it's a common bathroom for your guests when they come. You don't know them not really want to come in at your place. So, I, yeah, so. You want to close the door? Yeah, family, so let's go to the first bedroom. As you can see, this is a guest room, as you can see right here. Yeah, nice space, you know what I mean? As I said, laughter is pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about, you know what I mean, AC or anything. If you want the sun, you can just go right there. The sun is at the pool too. So let's go to the master bedroom family, where all the action happen. <laughs> <laughs> master. So guys, we are master in earth, we're not slave. Well anyways guys, so this is a, 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 the master bedroom. You have your own balcony for the master bedroom. That's kind of nice. Somebody would have to grill up them place. Um, you know, um, I mean, some so, of them have been occupied already. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, as wow. you can see, yeah, nice. yeah, family. So, let's go to the bathroom. As you can see, you have a closet right here. Another closet, like a, another bathroom closet. Oh, that's, lovely. that's lovely. That's yeah. lovely. I don't know. We use this for More shoes. Storage. More storage and stuff. Towel, yeah. Enough. Yeah, guys. So this is the bathroom. As you can see, you have your robe and thing. And as I said, the bathroom is luxury, family. Water did it. And I think this is not the digital glass, no? 
Mm -hmm. It is? No? No, no, no. Okay, so everything is top notch, guys. So that's just it for me today, guys. This is like, we have a few, two bedrooms. So if you're interested, you have cash. When you pay cash, you pay less. And when you pay an installment, you pay a little bit more, but you have enough time. If you have cash flow, you can be paying your monthly installment um, family. So as you know, this house is finished. So you won't get a, actually like a three-year payment plan because it's actually finished and ready to occupy. So it's, it might be like a six months. And you know, Jam Tours have connection. So I, I know the Chinese developer. So I can actually make them give you a discount or make you get a longer time to pay. So if you link with Jam Tours, you know what I mean? You'll be happy every day. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so that's it, family. So yes. let's go. We have the key. My brother right now just buy a bed seat of him to film um, yes, fiance. Yes. Oh! So, <laughs> fiance, yeah. And I check that out. Check out this two bedroom. We have a lot of two bedroom here. We have like over maybe 22 bedroom. Yes. Um, hello. Come to see the studio. That the, the guy buy for him, um, fiance. Who bought? Who bought it? A Jamaican. A Jamaican bought a studio for the fiance. For him, fiance in Jamaica. So, um, so my fiance is Kenyan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to deliver the key to her and stuff. So that's why I have the key right here, family. So, all right, family. So, let's do this video again. <laughs> yeah, family. So as you know, my brother bought a bed seat, uh, a studio apartment for his fiance here in Kenya. Oh. So it was Jam Tours who actually processed this out online. He never come here yet. He just watched my video and see Jam Tours and say, yo, like we are doing more and this investment and you know, my girl here to have something, you know what I mean, going and stuff. So let's let you know guys, that's how we want the man then come and treat the woman them when they come in Kenya. Buy them, buy them apartment, buy them house and you know what I mean, make African lady feel nice and feel, you know what I mean? Has he met the guy though? No, you have met her, but they've been talking over the phone and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, I just saw the thing go family. You know what I mean? Love is strange and love is strong. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. Ninth floor. floor. So, he bought, he bought a, a studio for a girl he's not met yet in person. Well, you know, you maybe Kenyan woman nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> we will see. We will see. We will see the target. Man, but they are ready, man. Yeah, man. So, after the thing of family. So, love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, they need to get this board out. When you no, find it. No, because when all of them, the people are moving, like, oh, because they're scratching the wall. Scratch, yeah. Oh, so after people finish like, moving. Like 70% or 75%. Oh, then they will remove the. Oh, they yeah. They can remove, yeah. Oh, makes sense. Let's see. Yeah, family. So we're on the ninth floor, and um, let's go and check this um, the studio. That girl let's is check so it. Lucky. <laughs> I said she's lucky. I said let's let's lucky. check out the key work, family. Let's check. So now, tada! Yeah, family. So this is actually a studio apartment. As you can see, uh, it's just like a one bedroom. You can even part it off if you want. Um, you can actually, if you want, you can have the glass guy who can come and actually put the, um, the glass and cover here. So if you want, so you don't get the dust. And you can put your, your whatever, your feet grass or whatever, your hammock. And you have a nice view yeah. on the ninth floor. You see what I'm saying, family? So, the washing machine. Washing machine right there, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, come and see what we did to the bathroom, family. So, for the bathroom, I have a glass man who are connected with, and he normally actually come in and put the, the glass for your bathroom. So, uh, if you don't want the water when you're showing to mess up the place and thing, um, you can put the glass for you. This is for like 20, 27,000 Kenyan shillings to come and put the glass. Put the glass. As you can see, it's very nice, very hard and professionally set up. And you can get the full one if you want with the door. So if you want the one with the door, you can. This bathroom is so spacious, not true? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. and if you put the door, you still feel, you know what I mean? Like you're in a, a bathroom, nice hotel bathroom family. So so I don't know if we have, I think we have one studio apartment available on the first floor. Um, you know, you can, you know, WhatsApp me for that. Uh, yeah, I link up with Jam Tours. Um, if you want that one, because as you know, these things go very fast, family. These people, 
living this in Kenya, uh, like a regular people can afford this in Kenya, and then now for people who want to come and stay on a budget, this is the place. And if people want to invest, you want to buy a bunch of this. We have some new project coming on family. We have like a six bedroom merchant in it. And as you know, guys, the sales manager, China guy, he's actually the developer of this one. So you know, jump towards, I forget the six bedroom. <laughs> but anyways, family, I'm just telling you that because we also have um, a new uh, development, um, Lower Kabete. We're gonna have like one bedroom and studio, and that one, those one, they buy, they finish before they even start build. So, oh, so, so once you come, so yeah, so in February we're coming out, we're breaking ground in February. So keep in touch with Jam Toys for that, and you can buy up a bunch of them. And when it's when it's done, you double your money, you double the price. That's nice. So all right, guys. So I'm out. African Tigers will tell you no more. <laughs> yeah, let's get out. Yeah, let's get out. I'll, I'll, so it's, yeah, so it comes with this two bedroom and your suction right here uh -huh. and thing like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, family. So you don't know a study thing got and a study thing set. 3.2 million Kenyan shillings give you something like this. Well developed, you know, um, you know, experienced developer. Trust me, family. This is a steal. Not a deal, but a steal. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, family. Um, let's, let's go, go deliver this key to um our special girl, I don't know what she do to my guy to make the purchase an apartment for her. <laughs> before, what before, is it? Before, before even meeting. Yeah? Before even meeting. Before even meeting. So. I need someone to buy me an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you know, you, you know yourself. <laughs> you know yourself. So, yeah, family. So, I'm going to deliver this to her. Um, they said I'm going to put it up on Airbnb or whatever. I don't know. But um, if I can get her on the camera, I'll try and get her and show you guys. So look out for that one and Jam Tours Africa channel fan. I can't wait to see the special <laughs> 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 All right, family. I'm out. One love. Ja bless. Uh, African Tigress. Anywhere she go around the world, um, we ask for job protection. So Thank you. this is coming from a Jamaican. So you don't know it go far away in the universe. As, as you know, <laughs> we are spiritual people. I have another Jamaican right here. Hello. Well, well, African Tigris. How you doing? Finally, I get to meet you. I'm doing good. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. Great, You're great, still great. In Kenya. Yeah, right here in Kenya. See? Right now we're in Kenya. Where else, where else would be? Well, if we love it, we like it, we love it. We embrace it. Kenya, the place to be, man. How that is why from years? Jamaica to here, the no good vibe. How many years on the continent? In Kenya? Okay. In Kenya. One year. In Kenya? No, on the continent, four. Four years. Four years, yeah, but in Kenya, one year. Have you gone back to Jamaica since then? No, you know, I haven't traveled because since then I've been busy doing business, connecting, networking, moving around to see people. So, any message you have for anyone who wants to? come to Kenya or relocate to Kenya like you? Like me? First, I want to say to anyone that's coming to Kenya, make sure they connect with someone on the ground first. Know someone before you even take yourself up and say going to Kenya. Africa is big and Africa is peaceful. Some places are what? If I want to come to Kenya, network. Depends on what you want to do. If you want to move here with a family or move here to start business, I want to do a solo trip. Find out the information first that can help you because you do not want to come, spin around in circle, link with the wrong person, wrong stuff people, get scammed, or invest the money into something that can't go nowhere. You understand? So it's good to know about the laws of the land. And when you come, make sure you have your money. Mm, what do you do in Kenya yourself? For me right now in Kenya, what am I doing is I'm a hustler. You know? born for me, I yard money, I hustler. So. We are, I'm working at a restaurant named Jamra, and we opened a Jamaican restaurant the other day called Brand Jam, but it didn't work out well. It was doing very good, but certain circumstances, you know, you collaborate with people, too much rat never dig a good hole, meaning that too much people hands is in the pot. So at the end of the day, you invest your money, you bring in your skill, you bring in your expertise, and you don't get anything from it. You, not, you see yourself not getting anything, so you just walk away. That's exactly, exactly what I did. But the restaurant is up and running for those who want to go there, but Chef Ricardo is no longer there and Chef Ricardo is not there. So uh, Jamrock, if anyone wants to find me, can I come at Jamrock? Otherwise from that, 
for people that want to come here to buy apartments. I'm the man that takes them around, so I do tours. You know, I work alongside Jam Tours Africa. So, yeah, what's up, gang? Yeah, man, so that's the man, the uh, developer, you want to talk to if you want to buy apartments. So over here, Loftel, apartment is selling. So anyone that wants to buy apartments, they can link up. It's either with African Tigress, or with Jam Tours, or with One Love Africa, which is me. You understand? I mean that one. We do other things too, like as us, as I said, bring people around. I show people uh, like a tour guide work. And I do catering, private catering, and functions, and private cooking. So the people want to reach out to me, you see my information in the comment section or in the link, One Love Africa. Okay. Is it? All right, last question. So before you came to Kenya, where were you and what were you doing? And the very last part is what really inspired you to move to Africa generally? All right then, before, first one is where was I? Before I come to Kenya, I was in Tanzania. So shout out to TZ, shout out to Dar es Salaam, shout out, shout out to Zanzibar. Zanzibar is one of my favorite coasts in Tanzania and Dar es Salaam is where I'm actually, I used to be. I used to have a Jamaican restaurant there. That's what I used to do. I opened a Jamaican restaurant in Tanzania. The moment I entered Tanzania, we opened a restaurant and it was doing good. It wasn't me, I had a team. It wasn't just me only, I should say, sorry. I had a team, me and my ex, we came to, um, to Africa, opened a Jamaican restaurant name called Reggae Flavors. It was doing good, you understand? But Tanzania is kind of slow for my pace and it's a nice country, beautiful but kind of slow for my pace. You know me to speak Swahili. Yeah, I don't speak Swahili, I just learn Swahili, kidogo, kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but Swahili is an interesting language, and I like it, it's a black language, you know? It's not like English, so that's corrupt. Swahili is a black language, so mm -hmm. shout out, shout out, shout out to Tanzania for that, and Dar es Salaam for the teaching and the knowledge I give to me in Africa. Last question, what really made you move to the continent? Oh, what inspired me, yeah, move to the continent. You know, when I was in Jamaica, you know, there was like, COVID thing break out at the time. And I'm like, January start. The world really a lot down, like the world really at end. You know, and I was with my ex at the time and she was showing me what's really going on. So everything's a pandemic, not actually a pandemic. And I'm saying, okay, that's a go on. So by reading and doing my research on everything that she tell me that's going to happen, it's actually happening stage by stage. Everything that she tell me. I do my research and I find out that it's actually a pandemic for real. And I said, I want somewhere to go because in Jamaica they have mass curfew, mass lockdown, I mean, sorry. Curfew, yeah, police on the road to make sure that no one is actually out. Yeah. Um, but was forcing vaccine on people. Yeah. Police was mandatory. I'm like, yo, if you're in long line, mass, sanitize and all these things, I'm saying, yo, I can't do this life. It's like I'm in prison. It's worse than being in jail. So what I did is, Talk to my ex, cause she said she wanted to go somewhere. And I said, yo, she showed me Tanzania. She's one that showed me Africa. I said, all right, then. I, was, I wanted to go to South Africa or Ghana. And those places was closed down. So I said, OK, then let me go to Tanzania. And we do our research. We connect. We connect. You know what I do? Make sure I connect with someone on the ground. So I connect with someone in Tanzania. We end up in a WhatsApp group with all the Jamaicans, our diaspora. And from that there, we take the trip. And being in Tanzania, I said, you know what? I have some work contract, contract for the US, and I have contract for some care and Cayman, and for Australia, and for other countries, work contract to go and work as a chef, is it? So I said, yo, I'm gonna do two to three months in Tanzania, and leave, come back, so I can get to start up my work program. And yo, being in Tanzania, so being in Africa, it's a different vibe, whole different vibe. I feel like I'm alive again. I say, yo, yeah, because at one point I'm getting like, like I'm getting down, you know? That's why I look to music, because I do music. So I turn to music and to help push me through these hard times in my life when I was in Jamaica. So I'm saying, yo, yo, it was rough. Because I said the place was locked down and not much to do and you have to be going into your spending, no work and stuff like that. So you have to be spending, spending, and I have a son in Jamaica also. So I have to be taking care of my son. So I said, yo, I need to get out of this place because there's no hopes right now. I need to go somewhere that's open. Because as I said, it's pandemic time, so yeah. everywhere is closed down. Yeah. Businesses, everything. Yeah. yeah, but good thing I have some, some savings. 
I make a trip. I go to Tanzania and I just restart my life. And it was good. Africa was good. So, yeah, man, if I wasn't for the COVID, maybe I wouldn't be in Africa as yet. <laughs> so, the COVID, here's see the COVID pandemic. That's right. the time of the year. But, shout out still, East Africa is nice. I'm looking to go to South Africa to check it out and then go to Ghana. We can't leave out Ghana. So, Ghana, Senegal, Gambia, look out for Chef Ricardo. Anyone that's any Jamaican that's there, drop in the comment section and reach out to me and let me know what's going on because I'm coming over there to check out these places. But Kenya is where I'm at right now. Kenya is where I want to retire and live in my life. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. man. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, man. Respect, man. One thing that's interesting is someone else, maybe yeah. me, yeah. I could relocate to Jamaica and feel the same way you feel. You will, so, so one Jamaica, <laughs> yeah, in the sense that you've lived there, so you want to experience something different, yeah. and you'll find it exciting. You'll probably end up yeah. more successful yeah. here than you were in Jamaica. Be, yeah, it was going good in Jamaica, you know, just because the whole pandemic, as I said, mm -hmm. locked down the place. I can't go out. I can't leave the house. I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a dog. I can't mm -hmm. chain up. I need to be free. I need to go to the beach. I was in Jamaica, what annoyed me is that the tourists have access to go on the beach and we didn't have no access because we had to lock up in the house. Mm. Mandatory. So I said, yo, why we as a resident of the country have to be locked up in the house, can't leave the yard, That's but yet still, when we look through our windows, we can see the tourists and foreigners on the beach. That was the last straw, and I said, yo, get out of here. But shout out to Jamaica, because Jamaica is my country. Shout out to Jamaica. Yeah, no one, one love. One love. No one better than yard. I'm not telling you the truth. <laughs> Straight out of yard. Straight out of yard. Me a Jamaican. Yeah, Jamaica, no. We, me a Jamaican. Welcome <laughs> 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 to the Love Tell family. As I said, as you can see, the car going down so smooth and so nice. Um, we have two level down car parking. And um, so let's go. Let me show you guys the car parking, as you can see. Um, this way is to go up and that way is to go down as you can see the car going down there fam. So let's go guys. Let me show you the parking. Two levels down parking. As you can see guys, um, it's well structured and nice as you can see. So that one is the next parking down and then this one is like the uh, basement one, basement two. Um, so as you can see, so this is a parking family. As you can see people there, it's very spacious as you can see. We have a lot of people coming in looking to rent and buy the same way. Yeah, so it's a parking family, very spacious. I think you get maybe like two parking with this. Um, so all the way down family. And uh, basement uh, two, nobody not really parked down a basement two. If basement one still have parking. <laughs> yeah, family. So let's go family. We're going to the, where we have the jerk pan. As you guys know, we have this uh, investment program for our dads, for our people who want to invest in Jamaican restaurant and jerk pan. Uh, we have like a, a franchise business going on right now. So we have the first part is at Gigi Arabia and US Embassy. We're going there now to actually show you uh, what the jerk pan business is like. And if you want to be a part of it, the, the contract, uh, just, just link up with Jam Tours for the contract so you can see it's, it's 700 to start and you get like a, a $100 every month for like two, three years. Right. Um, you know what I mean? So if you want to invest in a Jamaican restaurant, then um, Jam Tours is the plug. All right. yeah. Yes. So we now left the Loftel. We're going to experience something else. So, we jump to us here and one love Africa is here. One love, Chef Ricardo. Straight up. Straight <laughs> up, straight up. Okay, so in Raqqa, we outside outside on a sunny evening. Have you ever driven down to uh Ocheris to Montego Bay? Not me driving, but no, that yes. you drive, but see you know, look. Yes, yes, yes. They have a similar feeling like this, like I mean, that's certain road in Kenya. Yeah.
I was telling uh, Ricardo, it's quite interesting that you are coming from the other side and you love it here. And for me, at this point, I feel like I've had enough here. <laughs> but you know, that's life. That's the beauty of traveling yeah, yeah, because, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to experience something different. So for you, this is different. Uh, you've lived that life. Mm -hmm. You've lived that island life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. your life. So yeah. you want to experience something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing now, when you travel and go out, it opens up your mind to a lot of, you know what I mean? So now you kind of actually understand what you like. Because the, the more you travel, the more you understand yourself and know what you like. And and now some of the things that, like, you, I think you see some opportunities here that you probably don't see in Jamaica. Yeah, so much. And when I'm, there's opportunities that I would see in Jamaica that you won't see. Yeah, yeah, you won't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two river small. So I'm sure I like when I look for instance when I look at the Caribbean I see so many opportunities there mm -hmm. probably for you because you've lived that life and all that yeah, you yeah. find them to be you don't see you don't see them you don't see them and most of the time you don't even have the connection to see them you don't yeah. even yeah <laughs> so it's like <laughs> and now well, here you're seeing them and I don't see them yeah yeah okay you know Jamaica is full of colorism and classism and racism and a lot of ism uh -huh. So, you know what I mean, like, I get a you just coming out of whatever, you get a little thing, you get a break in life. I'd advise you to come to Africa, come, you know what I mean, you feel at home, but in our trouble, you know what I mean, because in Jamaica, you know, you know, the internet is there now and, you know, scamming is tagging on Jamaican name. So, sometimes you're doing something illegally, <laughs> but because the Jamaican people they don't understand what you're doing, they say, oh, you're scamming and stuff. So, you know what I mean? So, it's crazy, man. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Different, how do they say it? Different trucks, different forks. So. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love this side of Nairobi. Yeah. I love, the, I love this area. This is high end. Yeah. This is exclusive. This is close to the UN, the US embassy, like the Canadian embassy. All of them are in this place. And most of the houses in here, they are hidden. That's why you only see trees. But if you go behind the trees, the houses are massive. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Like Oh, we just oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. on that side the Australian embassy. So all the, this is a new one. Previously, I think they were on Riverside. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they moved here, but we're going to turn just before the US and Canadian. I'm not so sure. I think this is my favorite mall in Nairobi. Oh, Village Market. Have yeah. you been to Garden City Mall? Yeah, I've been to Garden City. Garden City is nice if you like family, kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, which what I love. The mall is I like, I like, I like oh, the malls here. I like, I like this one. I like the restaurants in it. I like Village Market. My favorite. Yeah, Village Market. Is one. Yeah, yeah, it's my favorite too. Yeah, yeah this is my favorite mall. And Sarit. I haven't explored Sarit as much. I think I've been there countable times, but I like this one.
What do you like about the village market? Me? Yeah, why do you like the village market? You know, just the way it's the set up, the setting. The set up, yeah, I and like they it. They have everything, their little needs. Not just that too, but because we are most of the diaspora shop. When they just come here, uh -huh. like the UN people, yeah. and the repat, repat. Yeah. When you go to village market, you see more of these type of people. With Be Kenyan also, yeah. a lot of Kenyans, you know. So and I think mixed, because you will get here. some of the things there that you will not get in other malls. Yeah. In Sarit Center, you get, every, you get everything. Yes. In yes. the village market and Sarit, yeah. you get more stuff in Sarit that you can't get in other malls, like foreign stuff. Yeah, foreign, like things yeah. that they are used to. Yeah. Yeah. Like some people like their cereal. So uh -huh. some money, so okay, cinnamon toast crunch. Uh -huh. uh, oh, you can actually get to the village market too. I just remember, yeah. So all of these things. Actually, village market, you get everything. Yeah, village market yeah. is close to all the diplomats no, no, and no, expatriates here. Yeah. So, of course, they have all those, you are, your it's favorite things. Vibe. It's a different vibe, we that village market. Yeah, I love it's the like in Canada, a walk, you understand? Yeah. I are in, are in um, New York, a walk on the mall. So and, village and, market is a vibe like that. Yeah, and they, uh, there's this section where it's like a mix of both modern and vintage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I like the ambience of it, family. Yes. I also like that them have a kids here and there up top. Yes, yeah. have like vi that, um, yes. video games and all of these actually high tech thing you can find. It's there. If you want, like, uh, you know, like all of these like uh, car racing stuff you can find. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you about. Um, Russ Renault over there. Um, that's an apartment. It's going to be right in front of GTC family, as oh. you can see. The model unit is going for like two bedroom for like uh, 7.9, 9, 8 point something million Kenyan shillings for one bedroom. Sorry, one bedroom. One be I would yeah, have yeah. been like, that's so cheap for <laughs> GTC. I would have said. Yeah, so like 7.9, um, 8 million for the uh, something off plan going right now, family. So it's selling like hot bread. And, um, you know what I mean? If you want Who's to the developer? The same ones? No, it's not, they are not the developers. Some other Chinese developer. The same one that they say design GTC. Oh, yeah, I see next yeah, to GTC. Yeah, yeah. 7.9 for one bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys want to actually know more about Greshvenor, link up with Jam Tours or link up with African Tigers and, um, you know what I mean? You can get us something. Venue or yeah. Now we are on the most secure, one of the most secure <laughs> roads. In, in Kenya. Kenya. Yeah, yeah, family. So US Embassy and UN office there's opposite the UN each other. headquarters in Africa. Yeah. Right ahead. So if anybody come and want to know where to find US Embassy, it's on Gigeri family. Just Gigeri you find the US Embassy. So all of the, the, the Americans that's here. I'm sure some of the people you think they are walking, they are just security, like you know. Um, CIA. CIA. Yeah, <laughs> some of the people on these streets are CIA, and you won't yeah. even know it's CIA. Yeah, family. So we are approaching where we have the jerk pan. Um, you know, I mean, as I said, guys, I was talking to you guys about uh, investing in the jerk pan business, franchise business here in Kenya. So we're gonna show you the pan, and we have a guy there that's working at the moment. Um, we're trying to work with um, the Women's uh, Foundation to, you know. You know, see if we can create some jobs with this thing, uh -huh. um, spreading the Jamaica culture and stuff like that, family. So, we're looking to get into that. Let's link up with Jam Tours. All right, we have it going. Um, yeah. Okay, made it to the Jamaican Jack Pan <laughs> <laughs> here in Gigiri. I love the ambience. Let me turn the camera. Look at this, it looks it's so outdoors it looks chill and relaxed a nice place to hang out over the weekend oh and here we go i see hold on okay that should be your family so maybe we're gonna make tiger sample some jamaican jerk chicken i see Manuel, what's up all is good Oh, nice. Jam Rock. Original Jamaican jerk chicken. Yeah, man. So this is a jerk pan man here right here. Well gone. <laughs> yes, Emmanuel. So I wanted to actually um, 
do this jerk chicken for sheep. So this is the pan family. Look, it's a pan. Uh huh. Um, so this is what I'm telling you about family. See, it has the wheel and it and everything, guys. So we want to push this through Nairobi Street. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, family. So we really want to empower a few Kenyans to actually. So this is the menu when you come. Ah, I see we have it at with bread at 800, we have plantain at 300, and oh, you have festival. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like, and, like tonight, tonight is bonfire family. Yeah, um, the bonfire over there. Uh, we have different restaurant here, so let's let's, let's take a walk around. Take a walk. Yeah. Family, so we at Gigiary here where we have the Jamaican jerk uh, pan. This is like the place family. Very serene, very nice as you can see. Um, here on a Thursday, we have the bonfire where you can actually come and sit, enjoy some sweet, nice jerk chicken um, while hear some nice music. Every Thursday we're right here. Um, yeah, family. So, yeah. We have like other restaurants and stuff. As you know, people come and chill, having the business meeting and stuff. So it's a cool place, family. It's so chill. So chill, yeah. yeah. So if you need to have like your interview, I normally have my interview here um, yeah. and stuff. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, so as you can see, guys, um, this is it. Yeah, family, so this is where we have the first spot. And um, if you guys, we just be in the U.S. Embassy. So when you come, guys, if you want to have your coffee, whatever you want to have, pizza, this is a pizza shop there and stuff. Um, we have some jewelry over there, so as you can see here, we have some antique stuff. Lisa, what's up? So this is uh, that's Lisa right there. She's the the owner of this place, selling art. So you want to eat? <laughs> so Tigers want to eat the um, Jamaican jerk. Uh, we're gonna have an interview here, Tigers. We have nice ambience background. Okay. Now I normally have it right there, uh -huh. that tree. Or you can have it right here. I think right here is good. Anyway, yeah. All right. 